Hi boys and girls, once again it's Mrs. Mazur and um, I wanted to read you a story this week as we talk about community helpers and all the wonderful things that they can do in our community. Um, and I want you to start thinking about what you want to be when you grow up. There's lots of fun things out there. Um, some of you might want to be a teacher, a doctor, a nurse, firefighter, garbage man. Talk with your moms and dads about what you want to be. This book that I'm going to read you today is called When I Grow Up by, by Al Yankovic. I'm going to move the camera just a little bit so you guys can see better. I waited so long for the hours to pass, but soon it was noon there in Miss Krupp's class. And Thursday at noon, I'm sure you know well, is the time of the week when we do show and tell. And this week, the subject so special to me was when I grow up, what am I going to be? That's something I'd really been thinking about, and I just couldn't wait to let those thoughts out. So when Miss Krupp said, who's ready to share, you can guess who was there with his hand in the air. I raised both my hands as high as they'd go, and I bounced up and down, and then, what do you know? Well, Miss Krupp picked me, yes, me, to go first. Oh, I was so happy, I thought that I would burst. I proudly stood up and began my oration concerning my voice for the future vocation. Ahem. <coughs> Esteemed friends and colleagues and my dear Mrs. Krupp, I know what I'm going to be when I grow up. While I'll be the greatest chef you all have ever seen, the world will go crazy for the my hot cuisine. I'll tantalize by taste buds with my rigor tony, sautéed with black truffles and pickled bologna, surrounded by kumquats and candies, pigged feet, tops with shrimp-flavored lollipops, bon appetit. My walls will be filled with awards that I've gotten for toast on a stick and my Twinkies au gratin. My kitchen will be most famous in France, so make reservation 12 years in advance. There's no doubt about it, I'm certain, you see. A world-renowned chef is what I'm going to be. Well, that's very nice, Billy, said Mrs. Crow. Who wants to be next? Maybe Susie or Fred? I said, hold the phone now. I haven't departed. Hang on to your seats, because I'm just getting started. See, maybe instead I could be a snail trainer. Man, that would be awesome. Why, that's a no-brainer. I'll teach all my snails to do really neat tricks. They'll play dead, roll over, and even fetch sticks. Of course, all the sticks will come back two years later, but working with snails, I mean, what could be greater? They'll do any stunts that I like. Holy moly, I'll train them to pedal a bike really slowly. And jump, I mean, ooze through a huge ring of fire and crawl at snail's pace around a high wire. Then finish by writing my name with their trails. That's right, I'll be Billy, the master of snails. Or else I'll be the lathe operator who makes hydra hydraulic torque wrench calibrator, which fine-tunes the wrenches that specifically made to retighten the nuts on the latest blade that's directly beneath the main radial socket inside the cooling system on an X-14 rocket. And since this profession's as cool as can be, well, who would be better to do it than me? Say, here's an idea, perhaps just for laugh. I'll make my li my living by milking a giraffe. It's so cliche to get milk from a cow, so I bet those cows need a break anyhow. Imagine me milking way up in the air. I'd use the tallest ladder instead of a chair. What? Milking giraffe, Miss Krupp said. Oh, please. I counted. How else could we make giraffe cheese? Now, don't interrupt me. I'm really not through yet. There's still lots of stuff that I'm planning to do yet. Because maybe I'll be a gorilla masseuse. Or an artist who sculpts out of chocolate mousse. Or a rodeo clown or a movie director or maybe a professional pickle inspector. Or a big sumo wrestler, or a hedge fund investor, or smelly pit sniffer, deodorant tester. Or I'll be an expert on nuclear fission, or else a foot model, or friendly mortician. Or waiter, or skater, or master debater, or dinosaur dusting museum curator. Or TV repairman, or sidewalk sign waiver, or part-time assistant tarantula shaver. And a... That's about when Miss Krupp said, Now, Billy, please make up your mind. This is getting quite silly, which 
One of those things are you going to choose? I shuffled around and I looked at my shoes. And finally I said, my great-grandfather Bob spent a whole lot of things with a whole bunch of jobs. A butcher, a barber, a bellman, a bouncer, a telephone psychic, a bingo announcer. You know what? He just turned 103 and he's still not quite sure what he wants to be. See, I'm only eight now, so frantically I'm hoping you'll cut me some slack if I leave my options open. Let's just wait and find out what my future brings. Hey, I might have time to do all of these things. And then the bell rang and we all went to lunch. And I was, as I was sipping my pineapple punch, I pondered professions that I'd like to enter, like brave fiber, fire fighter or crazy inventor. Or maybe, just maybe, now when I grow up, I can be a great teacher, like dear Mrs. Krupp. It says, Teacher Billy for Mrs. Krupp. Love, Billy. There he is on the dinosaur bones. Boys and girls, there's lots of fun things that you can be when you grow up. And just remember, you don't have to choose yet. You have a long time to decide, and you can be more than one thing.